Hi. We want pizza. We want it now. We want pizza. Okay, we everybody, want calm now. down. I understand. Nobody wants to wait for pizza. That's why I'm here. I'm about to show you the easiest, fastest pizza dough from scratch, ready to use in 20 minutes. Actually, it's less than 20 minutes. So watch this. I usually use a stand mixer. So uh, it's, we start with one and a half cups of flour. I'm using uh, bread flour, but you can use all-purpose flour. It doesn't make a lot of difference. Bread flour might give you a little bit crispier crust, but it's not a huge difference to me. So one and a half cups of flour into the bowl. And uh, it's three quarters of a teaspoon of yeast. I'm using instant yeast. You can use regular active yeast as well. Just make sure your water temperature is right for the package. Three quarters of a teaspoon of uh, yeast. This is the instant yeast. Uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar. A quarter teaspoon of salt. That's all the dry ingredients. And now we're gonna add up to two thirds of a cup of warm water with the, uh, the instant yeast. It's 120 degrees Fahrenheit and a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna add the olive oil right into the water, like that. And now we're gonna add this, but add it slowly because you may not need all the water. So we'll mix this up. And we're gonna add this slowly and watch as it starts to come together. You can pick up the speed as you go. And just add it slowly because you just want it just to kind of shape into like a mass here. Sometimes I use it all, it just depends. It depends how you measure the flour and the, on the temperature, I don't know, everything. Maybe just a little bit more. Now with a stand mixer like this, the good thing is this paddle will just go ahead, I'm gonna add a touch more water. We'll go ahead and actually knead the dough right in here. And I do this for about two minutes. So take a look at this. This is what you're gonna get, a nice, you gotta spank that dough. Uh, and we'll put this on a, on a floured surface. Now, if you, by the way, if you're gonna use a hand mixer or you can even mix this in a bowl, the only thing you do differently is you'll mix it as far as you can, then put it on a floured surface and knead it by hand. We don't have to knead this by hand anymore, but you just knead it by hand like 50 turns if you use a, 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 another method. You just knead like that for 50, but this is already pretty much kneaded. So you put it on like a lightly floured board, see? That's what it should look like, nice firm dough. And then we're gonna cover this with plastic for 10 minutes, kind of let it give it a chance to rest. You rest it for 10 minutes or longer, up to an hour or so if you want. But after 10 minutes, it's ready to go and you can make pizza with a pizza dough from scratch, ready to use in less than 20 minutes. Anything you'd like to say now? That's just the dough, we want pizza. That's hey, 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 hey. I want skinnier thighs too, but you can't have everything. So let's be grateful for what we have, okay? All right, I learned this. All right then. If you like lasagna, then go to an Italian restaurant because who wants to work that hard? Or you can make my easy baked ziti because it tastes just like lasagna without all the work. I judge a meatloaf like I judge most men. If they look good and smell good and they're easy, I'm in. And this meatloaf looks good, smells good, and is really, really easy. You're going to love it.